we are listening to the same words and the same things, and actually nothing happening. Uh, the governments of all the countries are like stepping forward with a very little steps that nobody can feel it. They can spend a lot of money using a, building a new manufacturing and something which is destroying the, the environment. Uh, like for example, doing a lot of new cars manufacturing, a lot of things which is destroying the environment. And on the other hand, they are talking about the people that they have started to save the world. Like, how can we start to save the world while we are seeing like the, the, the government, which is the people that we, we must respect them, they are destroying the world. They are, they are giving hand to destroy the world. And the other thing that the materials that we are talking about, renewable materials. When we are using the renewable materials, we are using electricity to remake it, and we are using pool, we are using a lot of things. We are also destroying the environment, so I guess it's not a solution. Every, every year we are talking about the renewable source, we have to use the renewable source. Also, we are not moving towards anything. And about the... What's your question, Mr. What's the, what's the question? How can we be a part of the, of the solution? And we are the problem. So. Yeah, by stepping forward and taking action on a daily level, and by getting involved in great, by getting involved in our leader eco leadership training, by shaping your study and your future career towards helping the planet rather than destroying it. Just on the two points that you made, yes, it is the case that leaders have become complacent in taking radical action, but you know why? They become complacent because people are more worried about the economy, making money, uh, than the environment. What was the reason that German politicians became very green in the 60s and 70s? Because voters were voting the Green Party. So all the other parties became green because they would lose voters. Is anybody asking any question to the elected uh, members of parliament in Malaysia about green? <coughs> Not really. People are much more concerned about other issues. And in Malaysia, uh, uh, things like water and land and forest are under state control. It's very easy for a Mentre Besar to change a gazetted forest reserve into logging land. That's why there is a lot of deforestation in Malaysia. But if we, as individuals, start making this an issue and inspire others to make this an issue, then politicians and governments will change. Because politicians and governments usually respond to the needs and the wishes of the people who elect them. If everybody would say, I only elect you if you implement green projects, a lot more of these guys would start doing green. So, and coming to the other point that you made, yes, it's correct. A solar panel manufacturing will have an environmental impact. But the key here is to look at the life cycle analysis. This is an engineering tool that you can apply to identify what is the impact of manufacturing from raw material extraction to the actual uh, electricity consumed and pollution generated in the manufacturing process versus the benefit of using this. In this case, we will recover all the energy and environmental impact that is uh, occurring in the production phase in about 8 to 12 months. After that, the net benefit will be positive. You can look at other things like um, cars or washing machines. Where is the environmental impact? Actually, in most of these cases, it's about 80-20. 80% 80 of the environmental impact is in the 20 years of usage rather than in the manufacturing phase. But hybrid, for example, is a higher environmental impact in the manufacturing. There's even rare earth involved in creating some of these hybrid magnets. You are right, we need to look at the benefits of green technology versus the environmental impact of its manufacturing. But hopefully some of you, especially the engineering students, the designers, can get involved in the future to make this a reality. Green technology is still moving slow because consumers are not willing to pay the extra money or governments are reluctant to support it financially. 
So we need to shift that by creating a consumer demand and consumer pressure to move towards technology that heal the planet rather than destroy the planet.